What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Planning Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Actually, it is cold, like 33 degree South Georgia this morning. Man, I can't take much more of this. I'm just saying. Uh, just going to do a quick update. Um, I just rode down to the property. I don't know. Just something about riding down to the property to start the morning off, or at least my out and about part of the morning. Uh, trying to envision how that's going to be. Um, met with uh, a friend of mine here who's a contractor yesterday and I uh, think he's talked me into going on with a, a concrete slab um, I mean he builds he builds <laughs> you know uh, and I don't think the pier and beam by the code was going to be quite as simple as I thought it was going to be probably not going to save a lot of money and um, the only problem that is is once you do the layout you committed to it unless you take a concrete saw and start sawing up floors that's the only thing I don't personally like but since this is a very simple 24 by 40 there really ain't much else I could do with it now, you know, if it was a house, a full, you know, 1,500 square foot house, maybe, uh, they could be some things different, I guess, down the road. So, I don't know. Um, so, but anyway, he got me, he got me, he helped me out with a building permit. And actually, his brother sent me a message this morning. They both build. That's all they've ever done their whole life is construction. His brother sent me a call me this morning. And he's supposed to come out and meet with me because I was going to try to get some prices from him on some uh, different materials or maybe what a building package, a wood package would cost, you know, for one that size where you just buy everything from one supplier uh, and the trusses and all of that. So, uh, got to have my power pole moved. Uh, but the guy that come out yesterday, he said, oh, he said, preacher, I got a power pole down there with a box already on it. We'll bring it down here and move it for you, you know. Uh, one of the things I love I love about small communities is the way people help one another you know that's been again with even with the church but this is even outside the church I mean this is uh, I've had as many people call and check on me and say hey listen you know and you know everybody calls you preacher preacher anything we can do anything we can help you with I mean I've 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 had probably almost as many people outside the church call as I have inside the church. And that's not a slam on the church. That just means a lot of people in the community uh, have sent me messages or called me and just said, hey, look, man, if I can help you with anything, you know, uh, you know, let me know. And then some of them have been specific to building. You know, hey, you get ready to build something, you holler at me, you know, and uh, we'll come help, you know, I'll come help you frame it, or I'll come help you do this, or I'll help you do that, you know, so, small community, man, and, uh, you, you, you think about, you think about that, and, uh, you know, you think about the times in my videos, uh, where I've said, you know, hey, this person only has this much money, or whatever, we just gonna help them out, we gonna do it, you know, or, or we went and we cut a property for free, or, uh, cleaned up something for free and there's a lot of guys in the industry that do that and that's a very good thing but you know the the fact of the matter is uh now that's something you know for me that's kind of come in full circle because you know i've used tools and resources and manpower to help people and now you got people and these aren't people i've helped but i mean there's other people now saying hey let us come alongside you and uh and now we want to help you with our skill set and our abilities, you know. And uh, so that's just, you know, it's, it's, it's like I've always said, you don't have to agree with this. Uh, you can't outgive God. As one person said, his shovel's bigger than ours. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, looks like I'm going to have a little bit of, you know, probably some help along the way. Um, and I knew I was going to have that. Uh, but now I'm not one. I, I'm not. 
it's not that I won't ask for help. I don't expect help. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, ex uh, you know, just, I can't stand a sense of entitlement. That just, that's one of the things I struggle with. People got a sense of entitlement, you know, like, I don't have a sense of entitlement. I, I'm not asking nobody to give me anything, you know. Uh, now, will I let people help me? Yeah. Uh, but I'm not one of those kind of, man, some people will pour mouth. Just poor mouth. Oh, woe is me, and you know this trouble and that trouble, and and, and they do that knowing that people gonna come and do for them, you know, whether it be, you know, financially or whatever, you know, it might be. Um, so anyway, um, I'm just out peeling around this morning, uh, waiting on the other guy to call me back. Uh, and I got breakfast with a church crew here in about an hour, so probably what's gonna happen, he's probably gonna he's probably gonna get done doing what he's doing about the time I got to go do something else. So I had a project I was gonna work on today, trimming some more crepe myrtles, but look here boy. There's the X1 right there, y'all see that? Dropped it off yesterday. Uh, buddy of mine here, member of the church. In fact we right down the road from the church. Uh, them holes I was starting to get in the deck where it's wearing through he's going to try to weld all that up for me get me ready for the season man for the season so obviously I uh, hadn't really talked about this in videos but uh, you know uh, the direction for the business is full time so uh, and actually I have enough work right if, if I don't I mean, you'll, I'll lose some from last year just through attrition. I know some of those we probably won't do this year. Uh, but I have enough work right now uh, to keep two people, probably two people in the busy season of the year, probably cutting full time, you know. Um, and so, uh, you know, obviously I'll be cutting a lot more than I was. I'm going to do some other things too. Not getting out of ministry, people keep asking that. Let me just make that clear. Uh, I've already had some calls and, and some people interested in me, you know, coming to, you know, serve in some sort of capacity. Uh, but I've, I've told all of those people up to this point, I'm not interested in talking to anybody right now. I wanna finish, I wanna finish out here where I'm at, finish well and uh, then me and my wife and I will probably take a month and go sit in a congregation. Just 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 go and, and and just be there, not be responsible for anything, just enjoy it. And uh then after that, uh, you know, I'll consider uh, probably some opportunities. So but there are gonna be part time opportunities. I'm I'm looking, you know, smaller churches, somebody just needs a guy for a Sunday, needs a guy for six months, uh you know that sort of deal at least to begin with and uh so the business the business is uh it's gonna be full-time so or, or pretty much full-time uh got some construction projects coming up i already got another i got a job uh finishing out a shop for a guy yesterday and uh so i'm gonna start putting myself out there just a little bit more on the construction side of things. Not getting out of lawn care, uh, but I'm gonna continue to let uh, probably Elro Mo. And uh, Elro Mo, I, I have already told him uh, that, you know, nothing in the midst of, of, of what has taken place here, trying to get out that sun, in the midst of what's taken place here, you know, with me and, and, and at the church and, and the decisions I've made there, doesn't have any effect on his job with me. Uh, Elro's got a job as long as he wants a job and as long as I got work. Uh, so um, Elro will be will be taken care of. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but Elro's Elro's actually uh, Elro's actually on salary. Uh, so you know he uh, it just works better for him. Uh, he gets the same paycheck, you know, every two weeks. It don't matter if, if it's 
December and we don't cut a yard or if it's, you know, July and he's working three days a week, uh, he gets the same check. So just, just you know, from a budgeting standpoint, uh, with him being retired, it just helps doing it that way. So I told him nothing changes there. Uh, and, of course, the boys, I mean, I'm still going to let them work, uh, you know, whatever they want to do. And uh, so, and I think more work will come in. The spring rush uh, last year, you know, and I don't know. You know how it is. When you're looking for work, you can't find it. When you don't want it, it shows up, right? That's, that's, it's always feast or famine. But last year, I turned down a lot of work uh, because, um, because I was doing it part-time, you know. And really and truly... Of all the properties I have, um, I mean, I haven't sat down and looked at the book or the list of properties, but, you know, with uh, with Elro working, you know, two, three days a week, and 002 can work after lunch. He gets out of school at lunchtime, uh, just like he's been doing. I mean, he can work, um, you know, 50% of what I got at least, uh, if not more, uh, those two guys could handle and I wouldn't even ever have to really touch it. And so I, that, and, and then I still got, uh, I haven't talked to him, but uh, uh, Pastor Allen, uh, he, he expressed some interest in wanting to work, uh, you know, take a few of these lines for the summer and, uh, you know, where he can make a little money off of it, I can make a little money off of it. And so that, I'm, I mean, nothing has changed. Nothing in my plan has changed. The only thing that's changing is is now, instead of turning down work, we're probably going to take more work. And, I, you know, some of that work might come in the form of construction projects. So used to, I would only do construction in the off season, uh, you know, because I just didn't have time to do it in the mowing season. But now I would be more open to, you know, porches and decks or redoing a bathroom or something like that. I'd be more open to doing that even during the cutting season now because those guys can handle the majority of the cutting and uh, I can focus on those projects. So got another guy wanting a job. I, I don't know him, uh, but I'm just going to, I'm going to see because I think, you know, as, as the way the economy is going right now, I think I could get enough to keep a crew of people busy. Um, but part of why I want to get some into the construction side is because see, so Elro, Elro's doing exactly what he wants to do right now. Uh, in, the, in the busy season, he's working about three days a week, but he's getting paid year-round. And that's based on how many hours he works during the busy season. So uh, Elro's doing exactly what he wants to do. Uh, the boys are just doing this as a side gig. Uh, but if I really got somebody that was full time per se that, 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 you know, needed to work year round, I've got to find some stuff for them to do in the winter time because they need a check in the winter time. So, you know, that's, that's just some of the things I'm working through. Uh, those, that's the side of the business, you know, that can become a headache. So anyway, uh, I've already made this video. This thing's probably up at about 15 minutes. Kind of just an update, I reckon. You know, I I know uh, some of you that follow me on social media, the, the majority of people won't care anything about this. But some of you that follow me on YouTube and watch the videos, you know, you probably want to, hey, what's next? What's next? Uh, Going to continue to do YouTube, obvi obviously. Uh, you know, as long as I enjoy doing it. Uh, YouTube, I don't make... I mean... I made fifty something dollars in December, no, November. I made thirty something dollars in December, and I think for you know, today is January. I only know what it is here. Twenty fourth is the twenty fourth, and I think I've made twenty three dollars. <laughs> so I'm not. I don't even make. I'm not even making a dollar a day on average. So, YouTube is not about the money, man. Uh, now, if I wanted to take the time and be creative and, and, and you know, mess around with the algorithm and try to figure all that out, yeah, I probably could. But I, 
I'm not here to make a big YouTube channel. I'm just here sharing the journey, so, and hoping along the way you know it helps somebody out. So, anyway, let me get off of this thing, man. Uh, just a quick update. Well, not quick, but an update nonetheless. I appreciate you taking the time to watch, and my prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you, and that you might sell of your blessings as from Him. Hope you have a great day.